In Crete, where myths first took breath, a secret has waited in silence. Buried deep within the genetic code of an isolated people lies an anomaly, a whisper from an era long forgotten. A rare mutation alters the body's chemistry, breaking down fat faster and shielding those who carry it from the dangers of excess. A biological advantage, defying expectations. An unseen inheritance, passed through generations. A secret encoded in Greek DNA, shaping survival in ways once thought impossible. But to truly understand this mystery, we must journey back thousands of years. Hunter-gatherers the first inhabitants. In the beginning, Greece was home to Mesolithic hunter-gatherers who roamed the region from around 11,000 BC until the dawn of agriculture. These early populations were descendants of Paleolithic groups, well adapted to the rugged Greek landscape. Genetic studies reveal that these hunter-gatherers carried maternal haplogroups like U5 and U4, commonly found in ancient remains, their paternal lineages were dominated by haplogroups C102 and I, particularly I2, which became widespread in pre-agricultural Europe. Physically, they were likely robust, with darker skin and hair, traits suited to their harsh environment. While their numbers dwindled with the arrival of farming societies, traces of their genetic legacy still persist in modern Greeks. Neolithic Roots the farmers of Anatolia. Around 7000 BC, the first farming communities emerged, transforming life from a nomadic existence to settled agriculture. These early farmers were migrants from Anatolia, in what is now modern-day Turkey. They brought with them the seeds of civilization, introducing agriculture to Greece and the Balkans. Ancient DNA studies show that Neolithic Greeks inherited most of their ancestry from these Aegean and Western Anatolian populations. Their dominant paternal haplogroup was G2A, which spread widely across early European farming societies, with some presence of J2 and C1A, lineages associated with early agricultural expansion. On the maternal side, their DNA included haplogroups H, K, J, T, and N1A common among Neolithic farmers. Physically, these Anatolian farmers had light to medium skin tones, dark hair, and dark eyes, resembling modern Mediterranean populations. Bronze Age Civilizations Minoans and Mycenaeans During the Bronze Age, two major civilizations thrived in the Aegean, the Minoans on Crete, around 2600 BC, and the Mycenaeans on mainland Greece around 1700 BC. A 2017 genetic study revealed that at least 75% of their ancestry came from early farmers, with the rest tracing back to Near Eastern populations from the Caucasus and Iran. This confirmed that the Minoans were indigenous Aegean people. However, Mycenaeans carried an additional 5 to 10% of their DNA from Eurasian steppe populations, evidence of Indo-European migrants mixing with the local Aegeans. Their paternal haplogroups included J2 and G2A from Neolithic farmers, but Mycenaeans also carried R1B and R1A linked to Eurasian steppe migrations. Despite later influences, modern Greeks remain genetically closest to Mycenaeans, maintaining deep ancestral continuity. Classical Era and Greek Colonization After the Bronze Age collapse, Classical Greeks retained their Mycenaean genetic makeup. No large-scale population replacement occurred, and the genetic continuity of Greece persisted. During this time, Greek colonization spread their genetic influence across the Mediterranean and Black Sea. Studies confirm that regions like southern Italy and Sicily still carry Greek haplotypes. Greek migration was often male-dominated, aligning with historical records of merchants and soldiers intermarrying with locals. When Greece became part of the Roman Republic in the 2nd century BC, it entered a new phase of genetic history. The Roman era brought increased movement across the Mediterranean, yet genetic studies suggest its impact on the Greek gene pool was minor. The Roman era was truly a multicultural empire. 
Southern Italian-like ancestry and Western Mediterranean haplogroups may have entered Greek communities through Roman settlers and traders. However, Greece's well-established population diluted these influences over time. The most significant genetic shifts likely occurred in Roman colonial settlements, where Italian settlers and soldiers intermarried with Greeks. During the Byzantine and medieval period, there were notable Slavic migrations. After the fall of Rome, Greece became the heart of the Byzantine Empire. The medieval period saw population movements, particularly the Slavic migrations of the 6th to 8th centuries AD. Slavic ancestry in Greeks today ranges from 0% to 14%, depending on the region. Rather than replacing the Greek population, Slavs were gradually absorbed, adopting Greek language and identity. Byzantine policies reinforced Greek continuity by resettling Greek-speaking populations from Anatolia into Greece. Now, moving on to the Ottoman rule, the Ottoman conquest of Greece in the 15th century introduced new demographic shifts. However, genetic studies show that the Ottoman influence on the Greek gene pool was relatively minor. A rare genetic mutation in Crete. Centuries passed, empires rose and fell. Yet through war, famine and migration, something endured, an unseen inheritance encoded in the DNA of an isolated people. Scientists discovered a rare genetic mutation in the APOC3 gene among a Cretan community. This mutation, known as R19X, alters fat metabolism, offering protection against cardiovascular disease despite high-fat diets. Once thought exclusive to the Amish, this variant surfaced in Crete due to genetic drift. The presence of R19X adds another chapter to the story of Greek genetic resilience. While history shaped the culture and language of the Greek people, their DNA carries the legacy of adaptation, endurance and survival. Modern Greek DNA and ancient ancestry. Modern Greeks inherit a deep and complex ancestry shaped over millennia. DNA studies show they cluster closely with Southern Europeans, particularly Italians and Albanians, while maintaining genetic ties to the Balkans and Eastern Mediterranean. Regional differences exist due to historical migrations. Northern Greeks show a slightly higher Balkan influence, while Aegean Islanders, including Cretans, have less Slavic admixture and stronger ties to the ancient Aegean gene pool. Greek genetic continuity extends beyond Greece itself. Greek-speaking communities in southern Italy and the Black Sea share the core Greek genetic signature. Despite the Ottoman era's minor influences, Studies show little to no significant Turkish genetic impact on Greeks. Unlike Anatolia, Greece did not experience large-scale Turkic settlement. 